Hey guys, uh, this is Jake. I am the creator of Quick Ropes 2. Um, sorry it's taken so long for me to post any tutorials or uh, any information about how to use Quick Ropes, but I've been very busy. I um, have started college last week and I'm taking 15 credit hours. Plus, I have a full time job and I'm taking care of Quick Ropes 2 as well as lights, 2D lights available in the asset store. Um, but I wanted to get a quick video out to kind of show how easy it is to use quick ropes um, and what you can do, sort of what you can do with it. I'm not going to go into too many details uh, because I have to head out of here in about 45 minutes. So um, without further ado, let's get started. Um, I'm going to assume you guys already know how to import quick ropes into your scene. It's fairly simple, um, but to add a chain, you click Quick Ropes, Ropes, Prefab Rope, bang. It's that easy. Um, when it's imported into your scene, it starts out uh, already with the links attached. These links are have already been set up with colliders, as you can see here. Um, they're set up with box sliders. All I did was put the FBX link into the scene and added a collider and saved it as a prefab. Uh, if you wanted to change this to a different type of uh, type of mesh, you could drag and drop that into your prefab area. Um, if you notice, it's flat. That is kind of a error on my part. I uh, Before I released it, I didn't set the default alternate joints to true, but it's very easy to fix that. All you gotta do is click the checkbox here and it'll alternate, alternate your joints for you. If you seen my year demo, you will notice that the first link on the chain is facing the gear and the gear is on the Z axis. Um, that's very easy to, to get set up that way. Um, all you gotta do is click the first joint alternated checkbox and it inverts the uh, joints like that. So um, now I'm gonna kind of show you a little bit of the editor features. Um, as you notice, the spacing for the joints has automatically been set up to to one. The default value is one, and um, it just so happens that that's th that setup is there for my model. Um, but there's a chance that when you import your model, it's going to be a little bit too big or a little bit too small. Um, to edit that, you change this joint spacing. higher number puts less links on your rope, a lower number adds more. So let's go ahead and do, um, let's do 0.75. And then to get the scale of these joints to match with your rope, you adjust the scale. Um, of course, since this is set to 1, we know that we can set it to 0.75, and it will look great. Uh, if you notice that when you press play, nothing will happen because there are no physics attached to this. I do that because I have had many, or many requests to add a feature where you can do duct work in your scenes, and uh, this makes it possible for you to do that. But if you want physics, you can click the physics button, use physics, check mark. And it's that simple for physics. I'm going to go ahead and show that. Let's add a cylinder to our scene, put it in 0, 0, 0, rotate it 90, and scale it up a little bit. Press play. Bang. physics. Now let's say you want to get a little bit more fancy with your rope. 
and you want the rope to wrap around this cylinder. That's very easy to do with quick ropes too. If you see this little green block here in the center of the rope, that is the add weight, the add control point button. Click it, it adds a control point. If you click on the control point, it gives you a handle. With this handle, you can easily set the curve of your rope like that. As I said, I want this to wrap around this cylinder, so I'm going to go ahead and add a few more points. Like so. Like so. Like so. And like so. All right. Pretty good. We'll stretch this out a little bit so I can demonstrate the rope grabbing onto this cylinder. Press play. Very cool. Now let's say we don't want the ends to move when we press play. We want them to be sort of pinned into place. Very simple to do. Um, Instead of using is kinematic, you could use, well, you could use is kinematic, you could use freeze position, or um, a better option would be to add a game object or component physics and add a fixed joint, hinge joint, spring joint, character joint, depending on what you want, um, you want your rope to do. I'll add a, Hinge joint and press play. And there you go. Now let's say you wanted to change this rope from a chain link rope to a mesh rope. It's very easy. First I'm going to get rid of these hinge joints. Okay. All you're gonna do is go to the basics tab here and click set mesh type, click on mesh, or quick ropes, switch mesh, set as mesh type. And that sets as the rope. Now, um, after editing that, you'll notice that if I press play now, the rope would go right through the cylinder. The reason for that is that the colliders are not added to this mesh. As I mentioned, the link Prefab already had the collider built into it, so it wasn't necessary to add colliders. But to add a collider to this, all you got to do is go to the Physics tab, Collider Settings, Collider Type, to Capsule. That'll add capsule colliders all the way throughout your rope. I'll show that to you by clicking Preview Joints, and Pause, and Play. All these joints are usually hidden, but um, I will show you what it looks like. So you can see all the caps colliders are automatically added. And if I press pause again, you'll see it collides nicely with the rope or the uh, cylinder. Very cool. Um, to delete points, you can click delete or backspace, uh, whichever one you want. Very simple. Let's, I'm going to set this to 10 high and the end. Remove the preview joints and the end to 0, 0, 0. And then I will show you a new feature. Well, not a new feature, but another feature about quick ropes. Um, with this mesh type, as well as the cloth type, you can adjust the radius curve. And the radius curve allows you to set the thickness and width of individual sections depending on the curve. 
for instance, um, let's say I wanted to make a curtain. The curtains are usually wider at the top and they um, taper down to where they're bunched together. They might get a little bit wider um, down here and then eventually taper off to, to the end. Now this is a little bit over exaggerated, but uh, you can kind of see what I mean. I'll go ahead and set this to iskinematic so I can show you the movement of it. Another use for this would be for like the ponytail of a girl uh, model or um, something similar to that or tassels maybe I'm not sure whatever you wanted to use it for it's there go ahead and set that back to straight line now let's say you wanted this to go up and down depending on what key you press that's also very easy to do control enable controller uh, the settings are are automatically set for you so you could press play if you wanted and uh, use it right off the bat um, there's a min length and a max length the min length by default is 5 so it will stop when it detects that it has gone past the uh, or the rope has become shorter than the max length, the min length as you can see right here it says current length 4.79 which is less than five, so it will not let me go up any further. You can access this through um, your rope dot rope length uh, variable in your scripting. Same thing with the max length. I'm going to set this to uh, 15, so I don't have to go down so far. And because push down, and it won't let you go any further than 15. This works as well with the mesh prefab type. Show you that real quick. And this is why I don't suggest the, the um, is kinematic setting because it gets kind of wonky. And the reason it popped in and out like that is because these two joints, these two links are overlapping. Um, to get that fixed, you can scale it down a little bit and it won't. It won't do that. that sorry. Um, physics. Fixed joint. There we go. Down. And up. Cool. If you want to attach objects to your rope, it's very easy to do also. Um, let me go ahead and set this up real quick. Fix joints on both ends to pin them in place. And then we'll attach it to a cube. Let's see here. Create other cube. go to your rope go to attach add game object drag what you want to attach it to into this box if you notice the arrow is pointing to what joint you're going to be attaching this cube to so if I were to press play now it would attach it to the starting joint of course it didn't move because I did not add my rigid body to it you need to add a rigid body to your to the object you're attaching to. And since this is a fixed joint on the first joint, uh, the cube isn't going to be moving anywhere. 
because as I said, it's attached into the first joint. First joint's a fixed joint. Fixed joints don't rotate. So let's change the index to the center point, roughly. I'll show you that. And there you go. It's attached. You can't move it around because of the fixed joint. But this shows you that that works. You can attach multiple connection points to the same object. So I could attach it to six, and I can also attach it to 12, no problem. Um, so with all that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and show you quickly some uh, some bonus material. If you wanted to create a bridge, for example, the best way to do that, the easiest way to do that, there's another way, as you can see in the bridge examples, would be to go to ropes, prefab rope. And an example screen or examples folder, um, I have set up a plank prefab. All it is is a big block with a collider. Change this prefab from link to plank. Adjust the scale of the plank. And add your pins to the end. So game object, create other, or no, components, physics, fixed joint, um, or actually better yet, it might be better to use, instead of fixed joints, it might be better to use a hinge joint, so let's go ahead and add that. Don't worry about this um, this message. It's basically saying that it, it can't remove the bridged body um, because the hinge point joint depends on it. Well, uh, the script's trying to remove the hinge, the uh, rigid body because use physics isn't enabled. So if you enable that, then there'd be no problem. Press play. There's your bridge. Now, that's fine and dandy, but if you were to, let's say, drop a cube onto this bridge off to the side, you'll notice that the cube will flip right off of it. That doesn't make for a very good bridge. To fix that, go to your physics tab, joint settings, twist limit and set your twist limit to zero. Now the cube will sit on the end here, no problem. You see some jittering around here. Um, let's fix that as well. Set the swing limit to 15. Press play much better. Very cool little bridge. Um, as I mentioned though, uh, there is a more complicated setup. Let me go ahead and show you that really quick before I sign off. This bridge right here uses two ropes and a bunch of planks. Each rope has a set of attached objects to it, plank one through plank nine. So nine attached joints. And the same goes for the other rope. And that allows it to connect to these two ropes to create a rope bridge.
So hopefully this shows you a little bit about quick ropes and gets you more excited about creating things in quick ropes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I hope you have a wonderful time and a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time.